Is that a good lesson on how teams are going to raise the bar when it comes to this final stretch of the season and you guys needing to play up to that level as well? Yeah, I know they, you know, they're a desperate team. Uh, they're playing for that playoff spot. I mean, I think my goal would be allowed. Wow, it's a different ball game, so you know, unfortunately it wasn't. And uh, they scored. You know, they had a goal lead, and uh, we had some chances when we pulled the goalie, but we didn't score. You really looked, you know, almost surprised at the end when that was said to be a no goal. I mean, take me through that. Yeah, I disagree with the call. I mean, I. Apparently it was a kicking motion, but I, I didn't see the puck, you know, and hit my skate. So, I mean, I don't really know how much or how did I kick it, but, you know, that's what uh, they called. So, you know, there's not much uh, to, to say and I you know, have to accept it. But, um, you know, we, we know we have to be better and there's going to be a game like this, you know, desperate. But we, we know we, have, we can be a lot better than what we were tonight. Do you think the league needs more clarity on that rule? Because you didn't look like you kicked the puck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, honestly, it's a flip puck. It's a flip coin every time. I, mean, I, I have no clue what uh, what the right call every time is. You know, So when we're taking a challenge, I never know if it's going to be a goal or not goal. It's, it's always like that. Is um, a game like what happened tonight a good reminder of the intensity, the battle that teams are really going to come at you guys with when they're desperate for those points to stay in the playoff hunt? Yeah, we knew... Um, coming into this game, obviously they're fighting for a playoff spot, so they're desperate. And uh, I thought, you know, over the full game, they they won more battles. They were harder on pucks, and 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 that's what cost us the game. And you know, we got to find a way to, you know, get that next gear in. And then, you know, we got some important games getting ready for for the most important time of the year. So uh, I think it's uh, you know important for us that we can. Get our game to another level. What goes into finding that next gear and executing on it? You know, from the puck drop. Yeah, just consistency and in, in, in playing your team identity, um, going out there and you know bringing it for 60 minutes. Just uh, play up to your strengths and and, and don't feed into the uh, op op uh, opposite uh, team's game and, and make it easy on them. So I think, yeah, we got to find that consistency and 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 just you know more. More uh, harder on, on on the pucks and, and you know willing to get in those bounds and win those uh, and come out with the puck with them. That's sort of where I was going to go next. The physicality that they presented you guys with. How did you feel overall? The team handled it, and how important is it to make sure that that part of the game for you guys is up to par? Just knowing that that's the next phase of this season. Yeah, this time of the year, uh, games are going to get more physical, and there's going to be uh, less time out there. So you got to make sure. You're physical too. Uh, get in some guys' way. Uh, get get it, get some bumps in, and, and give your D time so uh, they can break out the puck. So I think uh, we can do a better job in that, um, being more physical, making it tougher on their defensemen to breaking it out. And uh, yeah, it's just part of it. Growing growing as a team, and, and you know, adding that uh, piece uh, and getting ready for for the big time here. Is uh, this a good indication of? you know, the type of play that you guys are going to get from other teams, the intensity and needing to match it? Um, yeah, I mean, end of the season, it's they're fighting for their lives. And, and uh, I thought we played a good third period. Uh, we had hit chances. And then, uh, you know, they got that one, that third goal and kind of sealed it a little bit. So, um, yeah, it's all of this is is good for us. Uh, it's good we're playing good teams. It's good we're playing desperate teams. It's a chance for us to, you know, prepare and and get ready for for when the playoffs start. And um, it's important that we, you know, we find consistency. We find our our thing and, and bring it every night because then that's what it's going to end up being. Is it also understanding your game versus you know a team that's desperate and playing that really extra physical game to, you know, be sway things in their own favor? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think for us, like we we, we just wanted to be desperate too. You mm -hmm. know, yeah, we got an next next to our name, but but uh, you know, it's rah rah. We made the playoffs, but you know, I, I've been in the playoffs every year. I want to win, so um, I want to you know do everything I can and then help our team uh, you know get to a spot where we're ready to go when those games start. Was it frustrating to see that Tatar goal come off and maybe your, just your thoughts on it? Matt's looked not happy. I don't know. I feel like players don't know what the kicking rule is. I, you know, and they made the call. I don't know. They looked at it for 10 seconds. So, and we don't see. I know. I, I see him stopping at the net. Mm -hmm. He does. I don't even know if he knows where the puck is. So to say that it's kicking motion, it's 
It's interesting. It's just one of those things where, you know, the ref makes the call and there's nothing you can do about it. But it's just interesting, uh, I think, that whole kicking rule. Does it feel like the, the style of play the Islanders bring and how the Wild played last week, is that the kind of a style of play you guys struggle to play against a little bit? Um, I wouldn't say that. I I think that uh, it's been a good game for us. It, I, both games have been tight, um, you know, but... You know, I remember being here last time, and we played played really well against them. Uh, you know, so I I guess I don't really know exactly how to answer that. It's uh, it's got to be ready for everything, I guess. Uh, you guys generated a lot of shots today. Does this come? Does, does this game come down to their goaltender stole two points? I don't think so. I I think our goaltender played pretty well too. Um, Second period, they were peppering us, and and uh, you know that was the emphasis going into the third is that we got to get more more pucks on net, more traffic, more more stuff going on in there. And uh, I think you know V held us kind of down just one. I think in the second, he you know he made a lot of good saves. So I thought both both goalies played well. Lindy, is this a good lesson in the desperation that your team is going to be facing from here on out and needing to match it? Yeah, you know I think they're it started off a pretty tight game. If you look at the first goal, just, uh, you know, we weren't strong enough on the wall. We fall down and there wasn't a lot going on. Uh, and you hand them a lead and it, and it created some momentum. Uh, we didn't really grab back that momentum till, you know, I thought the third period. The Islanders really played a physical game. How did you feel your team handled playing within that type of confine? Well, you know, I think that uh, they've got a few players that we, kn we know are going to finish checks. Uh, when you look at uh, you know our game and you have the puck, you're you you might get hit a few more times. Um, you got to get back up and compete. Um, you know I still look at we're at a two-two-one game in third period and we're you know we're getting chance after chance. Uh, and you know we get a tough call on a goal that would have tied it up. But you know at the end of the night, I think that you know we clinched the spot. I don't know if our if our group dealt with that uh, you know it's a learning experience uh, you know you're you're excited about where you got to but you got to put it away in a hurry and you know I didn't think we quite put it away in a hurry did you connect an explanation on Thomas's dislodge goal no he just said it was kicked in I you know I don't I, I don't believe it. Thomas said he didn't even see it and was just hitting the brakes going to the goal so um, you know that's the determination the league makes that's you know that's there's nothing I can do. It's no use even complaining about it. Uh, but I think if you, you look at some of the goals they've allowed this year, I think that fits that category. Do you think the rules should be changed or at least clarified? I got a lot of, a lot of other things I've got to worry about. Do you feel like uh, the style of play that the Islanders bring, maybe the Wild like last week, or that grindy physical style is a system you guys struggle with a, a little bit? No, not really. You know, we've played a lot of teams like that. Played, uh, you know, you go L.A. Kings, you you go Washington, you got you got some grinding styles you got to play against. You, I think, it, when we play quick, um, you know, I thought uh, tonight we had, there was patches of periods where we really started playing quick, but some of our puck movement wasn't as accurate as it should be. Um, you know, so you fit that you 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 face that grinding style a lot of teams you face it with Calgary you face it with LA there's there's teams that you're you face that style so and we've passed that test